we are looking at the concept of scale. Specifically, what is it? One way to look at scale is taking something big and making it smaller. For example, the Statue of Liberty is big in real life, but if we want it on this page, we have to make it smaller. Another way to look at scale is taking something small and making it bigger. For example, this ladybug is small, but perhaps I want to make it really big. And we can do this all by using math. When we take something big and make it smaller, we'll be using division. When we're taking something small and making it bigger, we'll be using multiplication. Here I have a picture of my iPhone. And in real life or in actual size, the iPhone is 14 centimeters in length and 7 centimeters in width. So if I were to create a scale for this, I might say in actual size, for every 7 centimeters in actual size, I want to show this as only 1 centimeter in scale size. Therefore, I would redraw my iPhone to show, well, every 7 centimeters in actual is 1 centimeter in scale. So that means my width is now only 1 centimeter. And I have 14 centimeters actual, so my scale would be 2 centimeters. How did I do this? Well, I used division. So if my actual every 7 centimeters is 1 centimeter, then I'm taking my 7 centimeters, dividing that by 7, and found I got 1 centimeter. And my 14 centimeters, I'm dividing that by 7 to get 2 centimeters in scale. Let's continue scaling down. So here I have our green hall passes and it's 12 centimeters in width and 6 centimeters in length. There's lots of scales I could come up with here. Let's start with for every 3 centimeters actual, that'll be 1 centimeter in scale. So if I were to redraw this, I would look at my 12 centimeters actual is how many centimeters in scale? Well, so now it's your turn to practice scaling. You're going to practice scaling down our classroom. Pretend you are a bird and you're giving a bird's eye view of the classroom, meaning a top-down view. Using grid paper, create a scale version of our classroom. Some things to help you measure our classroom. Every tile in our classroom is one foot by one foot. That should help you with measurement. So what I'm looking for is for you to take a grid and recreate our classroom. Here's the door. Here's some desks along the back. The pole, the phone desk, the bookshelves, some more desks. Show me that you can recreate our classroom to scale. Now you might wonder, what scale should I use? That's up to you. You may work in partners on this activity.